as we speak, 1.1 million future New Yorkers, future taxpayers, future professionals, future titans of industry are sitting in our classrooms across the five boroughs. And our hopes, our dreams, and our efforts are that they will receive the best education possible so that they can launch into the next phase of their careers. I'm not sure we always recognize how big New York City is. So I know Steve shared some statistics. Let me give you some other statistics. If Staten Island was its own independent school district, it would be larger than the Boston Public Schools. It would be the 13th largest school system in America. If Brooklyn was its own independent school district, it would be the sixth largest school system in America. And Queens would be the seventh largest in America. And those are just three of our boroughs all within one system. This is a massive system. At the same time that we know that opportunity gaps exist in our system, we must accelerate our work to reverse historic inequities, empower communities, and intervene throughout a child's journey through our system to keep them on a path to graduation, college, and meaningful employee. And yes, not every student wants or needs to go to college. So recognizing the full scope of students' interests is important to us. For me, the first priority we have as a school system is to accelerate learning and instruction. It is a cornerstone of every educational system. This is our bread and butter, rigorous classroom instruction. We have a trust issue with our community. We won't achieve equity and excellence until we really empower parents and communities. You see, I'm not interested in engaging communities. I'm interested in empowering communities. And the difference between engagement and empowerment is that it's very simple and it's a very low bar to engage a community. But you see, my friends, to truly empower a community means that you give them the knowledge, the voice, and the place to have conversations, to be able to advocate for their children. If we expect our students to achieve excellence, then we must support our educators and leaders and all of our staff members to that end. You see, equity and excellence isn't something new. It's the very fiber of our city, New York City, a city built by immigrants, a city of languages, a city of courage, a city of vision, a city of hope. My friends, that is our city, and this is our school system. Thank you. Thank you.